There is a famous saying in French, qui n'avait pas recule. The translation is, who does not move forward recedes. And no one can deny this. On that note, we will move forward with our next JavaScript lecture. Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to learn another interesting concept in JavaScript, which is pointers. And we are pretty sure till the end of this lecture, you will also find it fun. So let us get started. As you know, every variable has its memory location and every memory location has its address, which means every variable has its address. In basic words, a pointer is a variable which has an address of another variable. But in JavaScript pointer references to values stored in the variable and not references to the other variable, unlike other programming languages. See, it's that simple. If you are still confused, don't worry. We will be having a thorough discussion and explanation with examples, so that till the end of this lecture, you will have a better understanding of pointers in JavaScript. So let us dive into it without wasting any more time. JavaScript is a dynamic language without a static type. So what does that even mean? Let us look at a simple example and understand that. After assigning a string to x, it can be reassigned with another data type like number. So JavaScript allows us to reassign the value to a variable. Basically, there are five primitive types, number, string, undefined, null, boolean. JavaScript has object type as well, which includes object, date, array, map, set. Remember an interesting rule of thumb. In JavaScript, only primitive types are assigned by value. Other types, that is compound types, object, array, they are assigned by reference. Now a question arises. What is assigned by value and assigned by reference? Let us look at the basic definitions of both. A copy of a variable is assigned through the straightforward method in assign by value. And in assign by reference, the variable reference to the same value with the help of pointers which have the address of the variable. Let us see an example of passed by value. Script var batman equal to 5. Var spiderman. What do you think? What will happen? Will increasing the value of Spider-Man affect the value of Batman? Will it also be increased? Well, the answer is no. Changing the value of Spider-Man will not affect the value of Batman. The output would be Batman colon 5, Spider-Man colon 6. So the question is why? But first, let us look at the code. Initially, we have assigned a primitive type of value to Batman, which is number. Then we assigned the variable Batman to Spider-Man, so the value of Batman will automatically get assigned to the second variable Spider-Man, which is 5. Now, we increase the value of Spider-Man with the increment operator. Now, this is the interesting part. Remember the rule of thumb that we discussed earlier? Only primitive types are assigned by value. As number is a primitive type, this is an example of assigned by value. And what happens in assigned by value? Copy of a value gets assigned to the variable. So modifying copy of a value, which is the value of Spider-Man, does not have any effect on Batman's value. Now let us look at the example of assigned by reference. Script var superman equal to 1, 2, 3, var flash equal to superman. The same question arises. Will modifying the value of flash affect the value of superman, which is the object type array? Answer is yes. Output of the second code snippet would be superman colon 1, 2, 3, 4, flash colon 1, 2, 3, 4. In the above code, we are assigning the array object type to variable superman and assigning the value of superman to the flash. With the help of the push method, we are modifying the value of flash. Push method adds new items at the end of the array. So now, according to the rule, object types are assigned by reference and array is an object type. 
That means Flash and Superman references the same value. So guys, changing the value of Flash will affect the value of Superman and will have the same value as Flash. Now for your information, we will take an example of how to create a whole new reference. Reassign the object value to a different value. Let us look at an example. Before reassigning the values, the output would be x colon 1, 2, 3, y colon 1, 2, 3. After reassigning the values, the output would be x colon 1, 2, 3, y colon 4, 5, 6. Voila! A new reference has been created. Isn't that simple? We just have to reassign the value to the array in order to get a new reference. So I hope you found the pointer concept really interesting. Well, here is an assignment for you guys. Is the example on the screen assigned by value or assigned by reference? And what is the output? Well, that is it for today. Cannot wait to meet you guys in the next lecture with more fun concepts of JavaScript. Till then, keep practicing and bye.